In this video, I'll show you a few tricks that I use to align views to sheets, and we'll be focusing on floor plans and legends. And hopefully this can um, save you some time and bring some consistency to your drawings. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now let's get into the video. The first tool I'd like to show you to align views to sheets is the guide grid. Now guide grids are accessible from the view tab, guide grid. And uh, let's give this a name that is a bit more descriptive than guide grid one. Now I call it floor plans because you may use the same guide grid for all your floor plans, or you can just give it the name that makes sense to you. Now, of course, we're, we're going to use this to snap our views on a sheet, but it seems a bit too dense. So let's go ahead and make this probably more of a 50 by 50. And really we need a small area for our reference. So let's go ahead and uh, limit our extent to probably something like this. Now you'll notice that if you wanna be accurate about the location of this guide grid, you can't really dimension from the title block to the guide grid itself. It just doesn't snap on it. But what you can do is use annotation line or detail lines. And um, let's go ahead and uh, create a rectangle of a, of a known dimension. So maybe 50 by 50. Now at this point, you can use the align command to align your guide grid to that. So now it's perfectly aligned. And of course you can uh, adjust the, the extent of it, but it will still remain where you put it in terms of intersection. And actually this may be a bit more clear where you need it. And now you can of course go ahead and remove your lines. And the nice thing is that the guide grid now is showing as guide grid floor plans. So if you head over to say the second floor of the same quadrant, you have your view here, you have no guide grid at this point, but you can uh, activate the floor plans guide grid. And now you can uh, use the same point to move your view. Now what I use here is the crop region and it applies very well to crop regions there. Now the problem is what if your crop region is not consistent from one view to another? Mine are because I'm using scope boxes. Well, you can use reference planes. Now reference planes are, first of all, it'd be best to get into the view. So I activated the view and you can uh, draw reference planes either at an intersection like so, but you can also draw reference planes that will help you align the view on a sheet later. So it doesn't have to be at our intersection, but that could help, especially if you have the same intersection in multiple views. Now let's deactivate the view. And now let's try to move that view and you may have to move it around, sort of refresh the view on the sheet and see it now it snaps. And now I can easily read that grid interse intersection and place my view. Now, of course, given that I move my reference point, I may need to rethink where the actual guide grid is, but you get what I'm saying. You can uh, scoot the whole thing over and now you can uh, do the same. Actually, let's go ahead and do it. It's not accurate at this point, but you can always use the detail lines to make it accurate again. But now if you go back to quadrant A, you see that the guide grade actually moved. So they, st they stay in sync from one view to another. Now, of course, you could create new guide grids and that would apply, for example, if you're trying to uh, have a different alignment for other types of views, maybe other types of floor plans or area plans. And always keep in mind that these don't get printed. So you can uh, leave them as a reference or just turn them off. 
Now, of course, once you align all your views, if these bother you in your sheet composition, you can turn them off and the views will stay in their place. I'd like to show you a tool that I use to align all my legends on a sheet. Now, it's all based on reference planes, so let's go ahead and uh, draw some. Now, I'm on a sheet, so I'm going to activate this view and head over to the Architecture tab, Reference Plane. And you see that, of course, you can uh, draw your reference planes, but you're not getting accurate dimensions. Now, if you head over to Annotate and use uh, Detail Lines, you can uh, easily establish dimensions that you can control. And uh, these could be your standard dimensions or distances between the top of the tile block and the side of the tile block itself. Now, I have some reference points there, so I can uh, go back to my reference planes and really trace these lines. And uh, once done, you can get rid of the actual lines and just keep the reference planes. Now, the reason why I show a triangle is because it just helps me visualize this um, legend reference points on a sheet. So once you're done, you can deactivate the view and you can uh, select your view. And then at this point, you can snap onto that point and dock your legend like so. Now, if we create a new one, for example, I'm on a new sheet, we can go ahead and uh, place the legend, which is plan notes in my case. And I'd like to make it a bit cleaner here, so no title. And now, of course, it's selected. I can go ahead and uh, click on move. And there, it's very easy to, to dock. Now, of course, you could place all your legends on a sheet one by one, but I think there's a quicker way to do that. Uh, for this, I'm going to use PyRevit. I'll put a link in the description if you're not using it yet. Let's head over to the PyRevit tab. And um, before we start the tool, I'd like to show you that, for example, these sheets, for example, level one quadrant C and level two quadrant A, B, and C don't have legends at this point. Now I'll go back to a view where I do have the legend already placed in the right spot. And all I have to do is um, go to the sheets area of PyRevit and select copy and update viewports and of course at this point I can um, designate the sheets that I'd like to copy and I'll just go ahead and select these and of course it makes uh, even more sense if you have a lot of sheets with the same legend and I'll go ahead and select those sheets and now I have to select the viewport that I like to transfer and see when I'm done I can hit finish and now if you head over to any of these sheets, you'll see that all these legends are placed in the right spot. It's basically the same as um, doing copy based on coordinates. It's very accurate. Now, let me know if you have any questions and what other tools you use to align views on a sheet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.